Welcome to Looking For. Today, I'm taking you to Hong Kong to learn more about a real urban legend in the city of darkness, Kowloon, which used to be the most densely populated area on the planet. Hong Kong has one of the most impressive skylines on the planet and is one of the world's major financial and logistics centers. The city was a former British colony and was ceded back to China by the United Kingdom in 1997. It's located on the southern coast of China, at the end of the Pearl River Delta, which also includes the megacities of Shenzhen, Guangzhou and Macau. This area is the largest urban area in the world with over 65 million people. Hong Kong is known for the quality of its businesses, its infrastructure and its very high standard of living. Today, it's a home to 7 million people in an area of only 1,104 square kilometers. However, few people know that this exceptional population density has reached an unprecedented record of 1.9 million inhabitants per square kilometer in the citadel of Kowloon, also called the City of Darkness by local residents. The citadel was built during the Middle Ages to accommodate Chinese imperial soldiers. In the 19th century, it became a key stage in the Opium War between China and the United Kingdom. In 1898, the two countries signed an agreement making Hong Kong a British territory. However, the citadel remained the only part of the city that the Chinese government refused to hand over. After the Second World War, many refugees settled there, built houses and the population reached 5,000 people. After Mao took power in 1949, the Hong Kong government decided not to intervene in the city of Kowloon, as this area was becoming uncontrollable. As an immediate consequence of this political decision, there were no more taxes, police controls, waste or construction management. The Chinese gangs took control of the drug trade and prostitution, and low rents continued to attract poor families from Hong Kong. The population never stopped growing and in 1987 it reached the staggering number of 50,000 people spread out over barely 3 hectares, an area the size of 4 soccer fields which gives us an incredible population density of 1.9 million people per square kilometer. The citadel's anarchy quickly became an image problem for the authorities as the city of Hong Kong was becoming richer and more modern. In 1987 the authorities decided to demolish the city and evacuate its inhabitants. This process began in 1991 and ended a year later. The government spent nearly 3 billion Hong Kong dollars to relocate and compensate the residents and traders of Kowloon. Following the demolition in 1993, the authorities decided to build a park there. A model of Kowloon can be found there just as it was before it was demolished. Everything could be found in the city. Unlicensed dentists, illegal factories, dog meat restaurants, narcotics, and even criminals on the run. In 1957, the famous French writer Joseph Kessel interviewed the high-ranking police officer who said, the English never enter Colon City when I was in charge of this area. If a professional murderer escaped there, I had to pay other criminals to chase him to the edge of Kowloon, where my men would arrest him. The lack of police meant that the Chinese gangs, such as the 14K and the Sun Yi Han, set up opium and heroin dens, brothels and casinos. However, alongside the high level of criminality, Kowloon City was also known for its unique way of life and its residents were masters in the art of scavenging. Due to the lack of urban services, Kowloon's residents built a real parallel city with its own rules over the years. The concrete buildings reached 14 stories high and were connected by walkways and extremely dark alleys. As a result, the residents could only see daylight by climbing onto the roofs. 
The people living there almost always carried an umbrella to protect themselves from the leaks of the thousands of pipes installed. Despite the lack of hygiene and the overpopulation, life goes on in Kowloon and the residents are organized. There are schools, restaurants, but also different urban services such as garbage collection or mail delivery. There are playgrounds on rooftops for children to play on all day. On the second floors of the buildings, many factories produce golf balls, but also fish balls, sometimes destined to the best restaurants of the city of Hong Kong. In other words, the city of darkness has become a futuristic city which is entirely self-managed, straight out of a science fiction movie. The city's unique aesthetic is the reason why Kowloon has inspired so many movies. Movies like Crime Story with Jackie Chan are partly shot in Kowloon. This action movie features Jackie Chan's beautifully choreographed fight scenes, as well as iconic explosions. By the way, these explosions were real, and the movie was shot right after the city was emptied and demolished in 1993. In the movie Bloodsport with Jean-Claude Van Damme, the director shows us Kowloon in a particularly heavy atmosphere, with shots of pipes and dark alleys. The final fight takes place there, and according to the legend, Jean-Claude has definitively cleared the city of all criminality. Finally, the Japanese artist Ishiro Yoshida, who lived in an apartment in Kowloon when he was a student, opened an arcade in Tokyo, carefully recreating the city's alleys, even down to the tags on the walls, using pictures he took at the time. Despite the criminality within its walls, the former residents of Kowloon City still reminisce about the unique freedom they had before their evacuation. Although Kowloon City was completely demolished, it continues to be widely talked about and still inspires many works of fiction. Today, the Citadel Park layout is modeled on the ancient city of Kowloon and still bears witness to the existence of this timeless city of darkness. Alright, that's the end of this video, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching and see you soon on Looking For. Goodbye!